huge outfits that are designed to recall that glamorous presidential couple of the 60s, Jackie and John F. Kennedy. Well, all I gotta say about those pale Florida imitations, may they have their very own Dallas moment. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Trump, speaking of Trump, lock him up and throw away the key. Yeah. They say the way to Trump's heart is through his stomach, but I think going through the ribcage would be a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> that that, that, that Patrick, he opened the gates of hell to this hellish time that we're living in. Yeah, yeah, the hellish end times. Now, just yesterday, I was out with my uh, run you know, the bows and buddies we were kind of decimating the crops in rural Florida, you know, it's like, I'm not eating our way through. And this guy, he comes along, driving the tractor, and, and he's saying, the end is nigh! The end is nigh! But it was just farmer dead. <laughs> <laughs> Bound up with string. These are a few of my 
this today. Do you have any fashionista flannels? He might have some that back if you like. Cut! Barbie, remember, as a girl in this relationship, you cannot make the first move. Can Nibby will touch you when he she is ready. Well, can we at least face each other now? We've been here an hour and haven't even made eye contact. You are moving way too fast. Go back to where we left off and action. We might have some in the back if you let me go and check. No, it's okay. I don't think I belong here. Oh, my Barbie, she dropped her ring of keys. However shall I return them to her? Sorry, why would a Barbie go after Kennedy? She couldn't have gone that far. It adds intrigue, sowing the seeds of a romance that will eventually culminate in... In, in? That is for the audience to decide. So when has the director decided to put me back in the seat? We'll circle back to it. But we will circle back to it. anything about a kiss. But Barbie always gets a kiss. <sighs> Our goal here is to create friendship. It becomes a best friendship that becomes something more. But we don't even read as friends. All I do is pine over this chair of eater for 120 pages. <laughs> <laughs> I won't even speak again until the climax. There will be absolutely no <laughs> this is so stupid! This is perfect! Hot pink passion entangled with tension and not a single iota of intimate physical expression. No one would expect this from Barbie. <laughs> now, Kennedy, take it from your third and final line. Oh, Barbie, you... Oh, Barbie, you shouldn't feel the need to put on a show for men with dresses and makeup. What if I think Barbie's just fine being herself? It's subversive. Barbie is finally coming to terms with how limiting femininity is. I've always felt so trapped by... by... The line is... <clears throat> by the toxicities of cis hetero patriarchal standards to constantly perform femininity at the expense of my true identity. But what about my identity? I'm here half the day to drop my keys and stare longingly at a cardboard box. Isn't that what all good little dykes do? Oh, well, I'm tired of being a good sport. I'm a boutique worker and a president. I like paint and glitter, and since there's no children in the audience due to recent draconian legislation passed by our fascist governor, getting railed by a woman who does better than to drop her fucking keys. Isn't that the entire point of a carabiner? <laughs> I guess Barbie isn't ready to be an out proud lesbian. I guess not. I quit. Me too. Let's go back to my place. I'll show you a real dream house. <laughs> Stool stories. Uh, some Faust tears told their coming out stories involving, well, the red stool. A lot has changed since then. Um, how we come out, who we come out to, what we come out as. And we decided to dust off the old red stool and tell some new and old stories. Like my old story. See, when I was 19, my friends took me to a strip club called Mons Venus. <laughs> Introverted as a shock. <laughs> but 
But there was another way I used to describe myself as straight. So when I was 19, I transferred to a Christian university where I was a theater major. And one day the seniors were paired with the sophomores to go on the catwalks and hang and focus the lights. Follow me, Samantha. Um, okay. I'll show you all the ins and outs, Samantha. Um, will you catch me if I fall, Samantha? Yeah, I'm gay. <laughs> Ron DeSantis, Governor. Curriculum Revisions for American History. Textbook Corrections. Original Version. Rosa Parks. In 1955, Rosa Parks broke the law. In her city, the law said African Americans had to give up their seats on the bus if a white person wanted to sit down. She would not give up her seat. The police came and took her to jail. Proposed revision, Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks showed courage. One day she rode the bus. She was told to move to a different seat because of the color of her skin. She did not. She did what she believed was right. Final version. Rosa Parks. <laughs> Rosa Parks showed courage. One day she rode the bus. She was told to move to a different seat. She did not. She did what she believed was right. Brown, Kessel, we're going to run out of live action Disney remakes at this rate. Hope you got something good for me. Oh, you're going to love this new movie script, Mr. Riker. Yeah, we're going to connect with it. <laughs> so, give me the pitch. Once upon a time, in a swampy, sweaty, penis-shaped peninsula lived a mean little troll-like witch. A witch called Ron Duh. <laughs> Ron Duh. We haven't had a good uh, Disney villain in a while. Yes, Ron the Troll Witch. Well, Ron the Look at the House made entirely of mirrors. So she can look at herself. And talk to herself all day long. And never hear any complaints or criticisms. Ah, narcissistic troll. Well, one day Rhonda asked the mirrors. Mirror, mirror, in my hallway, what's your word for me today? And the mirrors say, Yay. Gay? <laughs> so gay. And the rest of the mirrors just like started joining in. Stop it! I'm not gay! <laughs> Which, please? You're as straight as Scar. Oh, help me, Rhonda. Uh, Rhonda. There's one we find more fond of. Wait, more fond of than me? Uh huh. The youngest heir to the king. Her name has a familiar ring. One that's sure to make you sweat. Sweat? And now, a tiny little clause was written. A lasting covenant made with a prince. And now, we're loyal to a royal. A royal name? Princess Lilibet. Ah, the youngest heir to Charles III. Remind me to get Harry and Meghan a call. Well, Rhonda goes into a complete meltdown. Lilibet, Lilibet, the tiny top princess, knows not the havoc her life now evinces. For Rhonda was jealous. And spiteful. And mean. Uh, I'm gonna kill that brat so I can be queen. Yes. Queen! Queen of all of the penile peninsula. <laughs> well, Rhonda flies far away to the land where Princess Lilibet lives. Yeah, bad news for Rhonda. She discovers that Princess Lilibet lives in a gooey place near Tinseltown. And Never Never Land. A place of diversity, progressives, and Pilates. What's Hollywood? <laughs> in the world of queers and the world of blacks, it's a world of books that are full of facts. It's a world where we cry, help each other, stay alive, and it's a woke, woke world. Uh, this is where woke is finally going to die. Now, where is that brat? Oh, little bat, little bat, little princess. And just as she's about to find the princess, Mama, Dada, she comes across a reflecting pool at Woke World. Gender is a construct. Women's bodies under attack. Broken promises need redress. Rise up, protest, fight back. No, stop it. 
But the pool just kept on going. Water, water in this pool. Do we know this little pool? The name is Rhonda, that's what they say. Oh, well, in that case. Yay, 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 Well, she falls into the pool, disappearing under the water. That's great. I can see Princess Elizabeth dolls, baby bibs, t-shirts, mirrors, of course. And it's a rebranding of It's a Small World. In Orlando! Perfect! I want to see, I want to have your kids singing a song by the end of the month. Especially a certain governor's kids. It's a woke, woke world. What happened was true. bizarre and brutal series of crimes in America. <laughs> Even if one of them survives. Legislative Chainsaw Massacre. After you've stopped screaming, do something about it. Hey, little girl, want to see some 
hoppies. <laughs> but there aren't any hoppies or any candy, and they take you and turn you into a lesbo. Just yell, lesbian danger, lesbian danger. <laughs> I don't believe in lesbians. I don't believe in lesbians. <laughs> My uncle told me that lemon was caused by lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> lesbians. Lesbians start white. <laughs> and my daddy said, we can go to lesbians to find out what causes climate change. How do you think that all those bobbies hide on to you ever get? <laughs> Not lesbians. My daddy said, if I don't behave, lesbians will probably sell me into sex trafficking. No! I don't like being stuck at Quabbing. <laughs> Mommy gets upset and starts yelling bad words at all the bastards and motherfuckers around. <laughs> you know who else would be fat lesbians? Scott oh, Lee. Oh, I'm going to turn you into lesbians too. Oh. Sometimes I think there are lesbians under my bed, and if I lie real still, they won't know I'm there. But then I have to scratch a mosquito bite. <laughs> And don't play hide and seek because a lesbian might find you fast. <laughs> don't come out at night when there's a family. Says when lesbians come out, they want to find me. No. I, no. And if you're walking in the woods and you see a house with rainbows on it, don't go there because that's where a lesbian is. She wants to fatten you up and eat you. <laughs> hey! Ah! So, you guys having fun? <laughs> I'm afraid if you go to work for Google when you grow up, <laughs> that you'll be exposed to systematic wage compensation disparity and you'll earn less than the men just because you're a girl. That's the fault of a lesbian, too. <laughs> no, that's because of men in suits. Men in suits are afraid of all girls, lesbian or not. That's because they know deep down in their rotten little testosterone driven hearts that women are superior and hey. would be better at their job if given the chance. So, who wants a hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> Ron DeSantis, Governor. Curriculum Revisions for American History. PowerPoint Corrections, Original Version. In 1861, Americans voted and elected Abraham Lincoln to be our 16th president. Abraham Lincoln promised to stop the spread of slavery. Before he was sworn in, seven states in the South said they were no longer part of the USA. War broke out between the Southern states and the Northern states. The Northern States won. In 1863, Lincoln signed a law that freed over three million slaves. Proposed revision. When Abraham Lincoln was our president, Americans disagreed on some things. Some people thought everyone should be free and able to vote. Others disagreed. A war broke out. Lincoln gave a famous speech Later, he went to the theater and died. <laughs> Final version. Abraham Lincoln was our 16th president. He held our country together during wartime. His nickname was Honest Abe. His face appears on our penny. He is considered one of our greatest presidents. He was a Republican. <laughs> My mother said that even as a baby, I was always outstretching my hands to any old stranger. He was squealing, love me, love me. It's amazing I survived. <laughs> as the years went on, my loving taste were edited somewhat. I used to love sex with men. You know, uh, 
they were my, my buddies, my friends, and sometimes my, my, my fuck buddies, but I never fell in love with them. They didn't make my heart feel like it was going to beat right through my ribs. Only women did that. But I was always alarmed by the idea of having sex with a woman. You know, even in the middle of things, I'd be thinking, this seems really complicated. <laughs> Thank God I found my perfect lover. <laughs> a sweet, patient, academic, a woman who could explain things to me. <laughs> <laughs> So about two months after I realized I was a lesbian, I decided I would tell my mom as subtly as I knew how. So I sat down in the car with my mom with my freshly shorn hair, put on some Haley Kiyoko, and said, gay song, gay shoes, gay hair. It's crazy, right? Gabrielle Marie. Did you just say that your hair is gay? Your hair doesn't make you gay. There is no boy or girl hair. Hair cannot be attracted to other hair. <laughs> and if this was your way of coming out, in other news, the sky is blue. <laughs>
appears to be spasming and alert. It appears so, Squirt. Another failed <laughs> venture has left this polycule all unable to climb. Holy clandestine clitoris! We gotta help before their ovulating orgy is ruined. Ha, 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 ha. What do you think that was? Can't say for sure, Squirt. Perhaps a cringy attempt at foreshadowing. Never mind that. <laughs> These quirky queers need our final finger into insatiable ecstasy. Are you ready, Squirts? Willing and ready, OG. This looks like a job for This looks like a job for the lightning! Libido! I never get to use the lightning libido. Looks like the gasms are saved, thanks to me! <clears throat> ah, yes, and the lightning libido! <coughs> And my best sidekick, Squirt. Holy trivializing taint. Oh, gee, something tells me you don't feel like I'm an equal part of this team. Simmer down, Squirt. Do you hear something? <laughs> Viscerating vulvas, blowing so hard I can't see straight. <laughs> Buzz, keep, lightning, levito, safe. Hey, Holy Squirt, I'm almost Got it! Looks like the day is saved. Not so fast. It's never fast with me. I go quite a long, long, long time. I can't say the same for you. Without this old libido, you're all dried up. You'll think differently when we... Ah, ah, ah! Can't let you do that, orgasmonia. Liquidating labia. What have you done with the lightning libido? Ooh, do you hear that, Squirt? Doesn't even ask about you. That was going to be my next question. Foolish OG. Perennially positioned on the post-coital. Forever unfocused on foreplay. Forgetting your past, your origins, your friends. Don't worry, you'll remember, and then you'll die. Let Squirt go. And that depends on you, OG old girl. One wrong answer, and the future of youth goes bye bye. Remind me, OG, where do you come from? I won't play your games. Answer the question! Who knew revenge could be so much fun? You should try it sometime, little old squirt. Oh, right. Stop. Better hurry, OG. Squirt's drying up fast. Clitoron. I come from the planet Clitoron. Ooh, you can be submissive. And what happened to the good old planet Clitoron? It exploded! Ouch! Well, that was the brakes, kid. No, I've answered your ridiculous questions! <sighs> perchance to save, perchance to dream. I told you one wrong answer. Let Squirt go! Pushy, pushy, pushy. You know, I can be pushy too. Oh, I Uh-oh. Looks like Orgasmonia needs your help as the pressure builds to save the soul of our slippery squirt. Thrust your vote forth with a Faust survey. Vote safe and squirt lives. Vote bye-bye and squirt dies. Catch the exciting conclusion live at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, a true movie star co-starring is 
with the key man in fog. <laughs> Face it, Joan, you were a movie star. I was an actress. Yeah, you were snuffed your work on Disney's Return to Witch Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> the great first year, upstage by floating props. Well, at least I didn't invest on Prissy. Oh, you rested on everything and everyone else? You know, your face always did look best when you were flat on the back. It smoothed out your wrinkles. <laughs> it looks like you haven't had a happy day or night in your life. Well, you were the original good time you were time by all. You oh, slept with every male movie star MGM, except Lassie. Well, I would have been past you to stick a couple of milk bones huh? off your crotch. Okay, I did not need that mental image. Shut up! <laughs> Your treachery in Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte? Now there's a name for you, lady. But it's not spoken of in polite societies outside of kennels. Actually, which is a noun, a verb, and an adjective these days. What about you and Baby Jane and sabotaging my rightful Oscar? Then accepting a grand band cross? Was losing a million in box office really worth fucking me over? Honestly, it was cheap. So are you? I wish there were some stairs I could throw you down. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me? No! What? Look, the taking to us growing has been amazing, truly sickening, but you don't need me to promote you. You are icons, they're dead, women who didn't take shit from anyone and look good doing it. I'm just trying to bring attention to girls who don't have a major studio in the art of art of them up. In fact, we need all the help we can get these days. The more things change, the more they suck eggs. So instead of bothering me, why don't you go after some cis hat white male studio adventures? Why don't we pay a visit to the new studio head of Warner Brothers? Spider-Man, bring me the axe. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know, kids these days are just a little different than when I was growing up. I mean, maybe it's just the way that we're raised up these days. But it's very interesting having a teenager in this generation. I mean, not too long ago, I was driving home with my son. You know, Dad, I've never really seen Mom in a skirt or just before. I've seen you in plenty, though. <laughs> and, um... Does it bother you that your dad wears dresses? Eh, it's just another Wednesday. <laughs> Despite being forced out of the closet, I took it upon myself to microdose my mom on lesbianism by making us have gay movie nights. <laughs> of course I vetted them first, and I decided to start us off with the ones with plausible deniability. Ladybird, for instance. She dates those a couple times, it's fine. <laughs> and then, of course, we watched Book Smart, and I decided to time the bathroom break at the exact moment of the sex scene so we could skip it. And then there was Portrait of a Lady on Fire, which I didn't have to alter because, well, she falls asleep halfway through. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, for some reason, I thought the grand finale would be perfect last Easter. That's when she would face the ultimate test. Everything, everywhere, all at once, <laughs> with my girlfriend. And yes, I watched it beforehand. Maybe I thought it had something to say that I couldn't quite bring myself to say yet. This is it, Mom. Did you see me, Mom? The movie ended, she sat there motionless, and I asked. So, what'd you think of the movie? I can't imagine treating your daughter like that. Do you think she loved her daughter? Of course. You can still love your child and not agree with all their decisions. Loving in a bygone world, loving all the bygone days, loving in a world of sin. 
believe how busy this place is tonight. I know, I knew it. I knew it. I just go by a tiny bit. And I want to do it. I'm with you. You always impress me. Oh. Hey, buddy. It's good to see you out the about. <laughs> I love this good to you. You do. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Well, I'm glad because I'm thinking. Oh. Excuse me, but it's my birthday, and the one thing that would make it even better is a hug from you. May I hug you? I can put the idea, I guess. He is such a blessing, isn't he? And you are such a dear for taking him out to dinner. God bless you both. Does that happen often? That can happen. I can't. I mean, from anybody else to do it, I got me. Well, you are very huggable. Amongst other things. Wait, wait. He or she or he or It should have been Thank <laughs> you. 
and she says, You know, honey, I could love you forever, except that you were gay. And then when I did come out a few years later, Why did you tell me? You lied to me! You told me you wouldn't love me anymore! I didn't say anything of the sort! I, I can't support this. Still, a few years later, I had to ask her, Will you come to my wedding? Oh, honey, I don't know. I I'm just gonna really have to pray on this. June 12th, 2016, day of the Pulse shooting, my mom texted me, are you okay? And that singular message was the moment that my mom felt like my mom again. And five years ago, when I initially performed this piece, weeks before my wedding, I still didn't know if she was gonna be there. And I thought all I would have from my mom was a text asking me if I'm okay. But now, did you know that your sister has a crush on her best friend and that they are um, non-binary? Yes, by non-binary. <laughs> <laughs> and they asked me, they're so cute, <laughs> they asked me for advice. <laughs> and on my wedding day, my mom was sitting in the front row with loving, tear-filled eyes, smiling wide. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Here we are, all these people here, but we're still not talking to each other. 
want sex. Why don't you just do all this? <laughs> he is a minor. This sounds terrible. <laughs> Doesn't use word for white noise. Please, like rugby? Ron DeSantis, Governor. Curriculum revisions for American history. Documentary corrections. Original version. In 1969, the police raided the Stonewall Inn, a gay club located in New York City. When police roughly hauled the workers and guests out of the bar, the gay community, led by drag queens, fought back. What followed were protests and violent clashes with police. The Stonewall Riots spurred the gay rights movement in America and around the world. <laughs> Proposed revision. In 1969, being gay was illegal. There was a gay club located in New York City. Police did their job and closed down the bar. The gay people in the bar were angry that the police did their job. They rioted because the police did their job. Final version. There was a club called Stonewall in New York City. The police didn't like that the club was exclusive. They shut it down. about queer history 
know absolutely nothing about queer theory and hope to meet somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and the students who don't identify as queer, well, typically they have compelling reasons for taking the class. Um, they have a family member, a friend who's gay, and they want to be supportive. Or the class fits neatly in the <laughs> Teaching queer studies can be a reward, but it can also be heartbreaking. Learning about the queer kid who's sleeping in his car because his father disowned him. Or the athlete who opts not to share her experiences in the gay Christian conversion camp with her classmates because she doesn't want to be or the trans woman whose gender-affirming care doctor in Tallahassee sent her out of her first appointment with a prescription not for estrogen, but for testosterone. And then, once in a great while, there's the queer students who hate themselves for being queer. They choose to research queer villains in Disney. <laughs> That's a clue that kids are all right. <laughs> <laughs> but if they come in and they say they want to write about their experiences, and to use a string of identifiers here, as a man who used to identify as gay, but is now asexual, a born again Christian who wants to use his final project to testify why it's important for all Christian queers to see the light, to renounce and extinguish their homosexuality. What I'm concerned I try as I might to beat students where they are, sometimes I fail. And these are the students that want These are the queer students that break my queer heart. Twitter cry? I'm feeling extra stabby today. <laughs> oh, Rage Farmer Christina, you're always feeling stabby. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I love it. I would do any, I would kill for you, sir. <laughs> Please let me kill for you. Later. Later. Okay. Right now, we're just killing hopes and dreams. I get to kill a hobo? <laughs> Hobos and dreams? That's hopes and dreams, right, Farmer Christina? Oh, I guess that's okay too. Yeah, that made me sad. Lawyer one, lawyer two, I'm all bummed out today. Oh, I know. Let's be on something. <laughs> Good idea, but what? Do any of you have any new ideas? Feel free to think outside the box. Just run it off the old flagpole and see what Nazi salutes. <laughs> <laughs> But Ronnie, you've already banned everything I can think of. 
that the woke people masturbate to. I should know! Critical race theory. But vaccination. Sexy drag queens. Transgender health care. Talking about menstruation. I say day! <laughs> against Barack Obama. The guy gets my mom on the phone and he starts, Barack Obama, blah, 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 blah. My mom waited for him to take a breath. Well, I think he's great. And I knew George and Lenore Romney, Mitt Romney's parents, and Mitt has been a very bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, by the way, she did know George and Lenore Romney. My mom had been one of George Romney's campaign managers in New Hampshire when he ran for president in 1968, the year I was born. Lenore Romney came to see my mom at the hospital. She came into the room, reporters in tow, must follow candidate's wife. <laughs> she congratulated my mother. Oh, Peggy, you had a girl. At last, someone to humanize your family. <laughs> Telling my dad that I was queer? That was probably the scariest time of my coming out. My dad was the judge in our town and he had a Calvinist upbringing. I was afraid that I was going to be a great disappointment to him. My mom arranged the call between us. But Susan has something to tell you. So, right? 
<laughs> I started crying. Mom, Dad, uh, I'm a lesbian. It was a long pause. My partner held me as we waited for his response. Well, who's to say Jesus Christ wasn't gay? <laughs> And then I started to visualize the pride parade in heaven. <laughs> See, David and Jonathan marching, waving pride flags, and then Mary and Martha would be with the dykes on dykes running their <laughs> And then there'd be Jesus marching with Mother Mary as she's holding a pea flag banner and sobbing, I love my gay son! That's the kind of heaven I'm talking about! That's the kind of heaven that I want to share with that queer kid, wondering if such a place exists for them. Dying to know 
What happened to little old square? She. She. Oh, Oh! <laughs> 